Hi, this is Shadi and in this video I'm gonna talk about a very interesting subject that is uh, skipped my attention for a while but I think it's very important to address it and that is the concept of grip fighting and kumikata, the Irish collar and elbow etc. And I've talked about origins of techniques in the past and all that stuff and it is important to know that stuff can originate from all over the world because uh, of the instinctive approach to it and also because of the resemblance of the human body. One example is uh, the Kimura lock or the double wrist lock or the hammer lock, Udegarami, Gyaku Udegarami. All these are just one technique that I just mentioned. So grip fighting is, I would say it can be studied, it can be very much practiced, uh, developed, but it can be also very instinctive. Uh, look at the street fights when they start the first thing anyone would do is either throw a punch or just grab uh, on the shoulder on the levels of the shoulders or the neck and just pull you in so grip fighting by itself is one of the most instinctive approaches for uh, fighting and uh, combat so today i'm going to talk about not just the, the japanese kumikata but also the irish collar and elbow uh, the Irish collar and elbow originated, it was believed around the 17th century and it was for a style of wrestling that is fairly limited in my opinion because they start from this neutral position where they both grab uh, the lapel or the collar in the right hand and the elbow in the left hand. So there was no le right versus left. Uh, it's also it has to be maintained throughout uh, the entire fight so here you can see the illustration right hand and right elbow uh, left hand grabs the left elbow or the right elbow i'm sorry and they would have to throw either they used to make three contacts on the ground like shoulders and hips and that's how you win so kind of like an ippon and also you cannot like I said, let go of the grip. So it is kind of very basic. Uh, if you started judo as a child, you both start with this grip and you go and one would get the ippon, but you can let go, for example, to do like a serenage or an ogoshi. Well, in this instant, you cannot, you have to maintain the grip all throughout the fight. Uh, kicking was allowed. They would kick the shins, they would sweep. They would do like reaps, like osotogari, and uh, they would call it sometimes like leg fist fighting. Uh, so speaking of jacket wrestling and kumikata and grip fighting, here is Shohei Ono wearing the traditional Mongolian wrestling wear and sleeve, sleeve fighting or garment fighting or wrestling uh, is actually thousands and thousands of years old like uh, the Irish wrestling that has recently been documented but when it comes to wrestling the Irishman has been doing it for thousands of years like the Mongolians and like the Chinese like in my uh, Chuai Jiao video that I talked about uh, they wear garments and do sweeps and grip fighting so the concept obviously originated from all over the world throughout Europe and also the Far East and Middle Asia like Mongolia so like i said it is coming from all over uh, the world but it has differences when it comes to the how limited the wear is for example in the mongolian wrestling you can see that only the back is covered and the sleeves so you would have to go for like a russian arm uh, while in the uh, irish you can see that they grab the collar the back of the collar like a lot of kumikata you see today and the elbow but when it comes to judo, kumikata is also fairly very recent because all the koryu and the old jujutsu schools they would grab with hooks like underhooks and overhooks because they would uh, either work with their armor or when they let go of the armor and they became like a, just practice like a, or they try to modernize the practice they would wear the traditional kimono. I'm not talking about the gi. I'm talking about the kimono, and they would still use like wrist grabs, underhooks, overhooks in order to throw and order to control their opponent. But uh, the gi, I done a video about the invention of the gi and it came about with 
judo so in the 1880s so grip fighting was fairly new to japan and it was instinctive however it has a, it has developed a lot because uh, you can see now when it comes to kumikata when i discuss in judoka profile you have the traditional kumikata sleeve and lapel you have uh, sleeve and russian arm on the over the back you have uh, russian arm with lapel grab with, with no sleeves like for example someone like kayla harrison uh, you see the georgians and the russians use like these high grips and or they like do like a judo clinch where they hug someone but without an s grip they uh, would hug the jacket and grab the jacket and do like either the front uchimata or the yagura nage for technical terms or they do stuff like the front suplex and kosotogake and ochigari while hugging the mongolians are very well known for their uh, unorthodox grips because they come from the mongolia wrestling and they do like hooks but they grab the the garments which is why like you see Shohei Ono was wearing you can see why their grip is like this because the only access to the gr the garments or the fabric was on the uh, arms the sleeves or on the back so you can see that each uh, culture or each part of the world adapted fairly differently to grip fighting and it really depended on what they were wearing but I see that judo is the most uh, versatile way of doing grip fighting because you have right versus left you have russian arm against traditional kumikata like kosei in a way he would just roll out his shoulder but keep his own grip you have under on armpit grip with lapel like kosei in a way against a right hander it is very versatile but for example the uh, collar and elbow wrestling in ireland was like i said very limited kind of like the children when they start to learn judo they would like grab and then the referee says hajime and they would maintain the grip they can let go when they do attempt like i said an ogoshi or something but when it comes to irish wrestling it was called leg fist fighting for a reason because they were only limited to their legs the only thing they could have done was morote seo enage uh, much different than greco-roman or freestyle wrestling or even catch as catch can or catch wrestling because there's no gi there's no fabric they the grappling was far more chaotic but also far more you had far more options so uh when it comes to uh, elbow and sleeve or uh, collar and elbow wrestling it has declined tremendously in europe basically to the point of non-existence almost or extinction because uh, in the turn of the 20th century i believe it was there was the fa the irish famine and there's also uh, the coercion and uh, they weren't allowed to either learn wrestling because the colonialism of england would not let them uh you know gather in public spaces or learn how to fight in order to repress or prevent a rebellion so that these two elements the fa the potato famine and also the colonialism really uh, put an end to collar and uh, elbow wrestling so i hope you found this uh informative because i i really think this is a very interesting topic and we all have an instinct to grab clothes when it comes to uh, fighting even as you know teenagers and people you see in street fights they grab the shirt and they pull and push and do all these chaotic uh, things however in martial arts it became a very like like a system it became very organized and also became very far more effective than just someone instinctively instinctively grabbing your shirt and trying to dominate you so uh, grip fighting is very much important when it comes to a grip not when it comes to street defense because someone no matter their posture no matter their weight no matter their strength if you dominate the kumikata uh, you can easily destabilize them way before you throw them and you can win that fight just to do the grip fighting so if you found this video interesting please 
let me know down below if you have another thing to add when it comes to uh, garment wrestling like the chinese mongolians irish etc please uh, let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening